Hello, it's Lucas from Mercedes-Benz of Eastbourne. And today we have a wonderful GRB 200 AMG line to have a look around. As you can see, it's finished in the uh, mountain grey metallic, which is one of my favourite colours. But where I want to start with is these lovely LED high performance headlamps. I really like how the daytime running lights is slightly more squared off in this car. And because this is the AMG line, we have the lovely chrome pins in the front grille and the more aggressive front bumper styling just here. Now just coming around the side of the car, you can see the practicality of this car um, really coming into its own due to the shape just there. But before I come onto that in more detail, uh, you can see we have the lovely 19 inch AMG 5 twin spoke alloys just here, which are not only more aerodynamically efficient, but actually set the car apart quite nicely um, in its sportier roles. I also love how the LED uh, lights on the rear here are uh, are quite squared off as well. Um, but just to show you another view as the car is under the showroom lights and looking absolutely fantastic. Um, but what we should do is jump into the boot. Now, as you can see, uh, the car doesn't just come in five seat configuration. You can get seven seat variants of this car. No matter, uh, we have plenty of boot, boot space should that be needed. So uh, we'd have 570 liters worth of space uh, with these two seats down and if we were to fold forward the rear seats as well we'd have 1800 litres worth of space so absolutely huge amount of space in there having a look at these uh, middle row of seats though you can see they have the Artico leather and dynamica finish uh, with lovely red top stitching uh, which you'll see on the front seats as well in just a couple of moments but we have ice to fix points on both the outer two seats nice and easy to get to because the doors open up lovely and wide as well um, and just having just as we look in the front, you can see the MBUX system lighting up and looking absolutely fantastic as well in there. And I'll cover that again in a few moments in more detail. But I love how these seats are bolstered uh, slightly more on either side for the front passengers and just give you that extra level of comfort as well. What I'm going to do is just open up the bonnet so we can have a quick look at the engine before jumping inside the car. So now that I've got the bonnet open on this GLB, we can see the lovely 1.3 litre four cylinder petrol engine in here. It produces 163 brake horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque. And we'll get you all the way up to 60 in just 9.1 seconds. And we'll continue all the way up to 129 miles per hour. It will do all of this while returning up to 39 miles to the gallon as well. So hugely efficient in there. So now that we've actually jumped into the front of the car, you've got the wonderful digital uh, dash in front of the driver, but the actual multimedia screen is where I wanted to focus. Now I've done this in quite a lot of detail in most of the rest of my videos. So just very quickly want to show you the high points. We have uh, the ability to connect up two phones to uh, make and receive calls in there. Navigation has a huge amount of information should you need it. Nice and easy to search for a destination as well. You hit the spyglass and on this one, your previous destinations will come up in your favorites uh, or you can hit the keyboard and put in a postcode like so. On radio, we have full FM and DAB as well as AM stations, and there is a huge number to choose from. In media, we have Apple Music, Spotify, anything from your phone really, or any music that you might have saved to your USB. Now, just coming down slightly, I love how these vents work, as you can just twist them around, get them just right, but turn them on and off just by twisting like so. And talk your climate control, here are all your climate control options. You have temperature on either side for both the front passengers and auto just there, so the car will do all of the hard work for you. We then have a USB Type-C port on the left-hand side and the 12 volt supply on the right with a couple of cup holders in there for variable different sizes of cups, along with the dynamic select uh, mode for more sporty or more economical driving over there and quick selects for everything that I've just covered on the main screen. We also have touch pads on the actual steering wheel so that we don't have to take our hands off the steering wheel to operate uh, a lot of the different functions in the car, as well as cruise control and speed limited over here and the option to uh, adjust bits and pieces on the screen over there as well. Now on Mercedes, the uh, drive selectors uh, on the side here, so a bit different to quite a few other manufacturers, but uh, very preferable once you get used to it. And heater seats on the uh, driver's door as well as the passenger door for uh, the heater seat options. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Lucas and this has been a GLB 200 AMG line. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye.